Listen. Follow me to the beautiful land where the lyrical man is a miracle man, spiritual and lifting you out of your misery, mentally keeping you thick, physically keeping you fit, so that you never forget. It takes blood and sweat to change what's been said and keep the evil okay, in shape. The reason why I love power machines is because it's so easy, right? Now, let, let me show you the questions that are guaranteed to come. Guaranteed, always. Uh, if it's not there on number one, it's there on number two. If it's not there on number two, normally number one or number two is your theory. Are we together? Right. Now, sometimes they might give you a little bit of uh, true or false. There's two questions or, or those one word answers. And then after that, they will give you. It's, it's knowledge based questions where they would want to know if you know what classes theory is. Are we together? You do know it's the second law of thermodynamics, right? What? Classes theory. Classes. Classes. I, I know that. Yeah, it's the first page. Okay, and you know that number two, if it's not number one, it's number two. You've got your, you, you've got your thermodynamics, are we together? Expansion of gases. Every question paper is like that, right? It's either, this is what I've noticed, I may be wrong, because I've been wrong, like I was wrong in the previous exam. But in most cases, it's either polytrophic, adiabatic, or isothermal, right? But sometimes they do change, they can give you constant pressure or constant volume. Now, the following two questions after that is always steam, right? And then after that, you will have combustion. Now, combustion is sometimes it's combustion by volume or by mass or calorific value, which is also fine. Then after that, number five is normally compressors. In this question, is, is turbines. And then after that, you've got and the number five here is turbines. Then number six is compressors. So today we're doing number five. Question number five. Yeah, this one is April, 11 April 2016. 2016? No, sorry, 2019. 11 April 2019. Okay, let's read this question. It says that in a steam turbine test, a recorded quantity of 2 kg of steam per hour, so mass was given as. 2 kilograms per hour enters an impulse turbine at a velocity of 900 meters per second. Right? Now, what's this 900 meters per second that you're given? It's A enters, sorry, steam enters the impulse turbine at a velocity of 900 meters per second. Now, what is our 900 meters per second? Just ask me. Um. Yes? Oh, no, alpha is an angle. It's the inlet angle, right? So this one is V. Velocity. Yes, which velocity? It's the inlet velocity, right? Because you have to look at the velocity that comes in. Okay, and it's discharged through a nozzle inclined at 20 degrees, right? Now, what's this? Yes, Michelle, your answer now. The 20 degrees is alpha, right? Because it is the discharge angle. Now, remember what I said before, right? Mm -hmm. I need you guys to be careful with the word, right? Very, very careful. You might have inlet, right? They might say it is the inlet angle of the gas. It's alpha. Are we together, right? We're together, right? They can say it is the discharge angle of the gas into the turbine, right? It's still alpha. Are we together? Because it's the air that is coming in. As long as it's the angle of the air coming in, is fine. Or they can say it is the nozzle angle. Are we together? The discharge is not the exit. Depending on the question. Depending on the question. So here they're saying it is discharged into the turbine, right? So if it is discharged into the turbine, is that? It's exactly, it's coming into it. Depends on the question. But mostly discharge means exit. Yes. Mm -hmm. The steam enters a series. Ah, it's question five. The steam enters a series of turbine runner blades and they are rotating at an average oh, tangential velocity of 350, milli, uh, 350 meters per second. Now, what is this 350 meters per second that you're given? It's V? V I R. V I R. Okay, what is it? Well, that's the velocity. Mm. So. What's, what's this 350 meters per second that we give? Hmm? Yeah, it's V. 
<laughs> no, no, it's not VRI. Because no, it's not VRI. Or no. no, it's not either. Right? Let's listen to the question. Right? It says that steam enters a series of turbine runner blades. Are we together? Yeah. It enters a series of turbine runner blades that are rotating. Right? What is rotating? Is the blades right? that are rotating at an average tangential velocity. Now, tangential, oh, English, tangential velocity of 350 uh, meters per second. Oh, by the way, this 350 meters per second is U, are we together? Since U is our blade speed, are we together? Right? You are, all of us know U is our blade speed. Uh, which each runner blade having an outlet angle of 32 uh, degrees. Now, if it is an outlet angle of the blade, which is 32 degrees, what's the name of the angle? Now, remember, the other side we've got blade angles, the other side we've got gas angles. Are we together? Makes sense, right? So, on the side that we have gas is A. Are we together? On the side that we've got blade angles is B. Now, we've got no, beta is on the thing. No, you've got yours. Five. Yes. yes, we've got phi and theta. Now, which one are we given by the way? Now, we've got inlet angle and outlet angle, right, of the blades. Now, all right, let me just tell you the answer. Or who wants to tell me the answer before I tell you? <laughs> it's stubborn, eh? All right, let's read someone. Uh, take the, velo the relative velocity coefficient of the turbine system as the flow as the steam flows over the runner blade is 0 0.75. Now, this 0 0.75 that you're given is a friction. Now we together. We were saying, they're saying, take the relative velocity coefficient of for the turbine system as the system flows over the runner blade is 0 0.75. We're going to take our 0 0.75 as our coefficient of friction. Are we together? Now, Construct a velocity diagram in the answer book on landscape to scale one centimeter to da 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 da. Yes. Uh huh. Uh, shall I write the scale on the board? Mm -hmm. Let's start with the scale. It's one centimeter is equals to fifty meters per second. Well, it's a beautiful question. Let's answer. So the very first thing that you do is draw air. Straight line, are we together, right? The very first thing that we do is we draw a straight line. Now, after we draw a straight line, now we are given mass, we are given our VI, we are given our inlet angle, we are given U, we are given uh, our phi, we are given our coefficient of friction, are we together, right? Now, we are given 20 meters and we are given 900 centimeters. Now, flex time, is it? Uh, what's 900 divided by 50 without calculating? Uh, no, it's 18. You just say uh, 9, 9 multiplied by 2, right? And then you get 18. The zeros will cancel each other out. So let's do 19 centimeters on our ruler, right? And then we we'll look at. 19 or 18? Oh, sorry, 18. 18, sorry. Let's do 18 centimeters, right? And then we we'll look at this 20 degrees. Now, this 20 degrees is on A. I want you to get right. So that means we are somewhere here. And then we have to make sure that it fits all the way there. Are we together? Right. Uh huh. Uh, are we there? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Uh huh. 18 degrees. No, 18, 18 centimeters. And 20 degrees. It's too long. To it's too long. Measure the yeah, measure the 20 first. Or you're starting with the 20 degrees, yeah. Start with the 20 degrees first. But your 20 degrees is on A, you don't forget that. Your 20 degrees is on A. Okay, uh, did you draw 20 degrees with our line? Just make sure that it fits. That's the most important part is that it fits, man. Okay, so I'm going to make this one my A. Point 19 is long. So I'm going to put that as my 19. Here is my alpha S. 20 degrees and here is my VIS 18 centimeters you see the question paper is so particular that they want you to include everything are we together? Right. okay now after we do this let's measure 350 
meters per second into centimeters. How would you get? Flex. Yay. That is, you did it with the calculator on your head. No, I didn't. You did it with the calculator. Mm. Hey, you with your head. Mm. Hey, that is awesome. That is awesome. I'm proud. It's dividing. It's dividing. Yeah. It's dividing, right? Which means you multiply by two. Dividing by five is the same as multiplying by two and removing zero. You guys know that? Yes, it is. Oh, nice. Yeah. Dividing by five is the same thing as is the same thing as multiplying by two and removing a zero. Okay. So Let's put 7 centimeters right all the way up to B. So my B point is somewhere here. Right? So this is U is equal to 7 centimeters. I prefer you do this as you write along. Right? I prefer you, you, you fill in as you write along. I don't think we ever make any mistakes. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, shall we move on? Now, this is our C point, are we together? Now, we need to join B with C. And then this is now our V, R. Mm -hmm. That's now our V, R, I. <laughs> now, if you measure it, how many centimeters do you guys get? 11,8. 11, uh, let me wait for the It's 12. 12. Michelle, you got 11, comma? Uh, so I'm, I'm taking Prince answer here, right? 12, because it's close to the whole number. 12 centimeters. Now, can you measure for me this angle? What do you get if you measure that angle for me? Eight. It's 30. Now, what is the name of this angle here? 30 is 1, 2, 32. 32. Yeah, I'm, I'll go with Michelle. Yeah, I'll say it's 30, right? Okay, now what's the name of this angle that we have here? It's, it's beta, right? Because it's a key. No, B is, is on A. Right? B is on A. Or yeah. the other side. Mm, B is, is on A. Up. So this one is theta. Are we together? Right? Which is. Why am I looking at that side? Which is theta. Alright, let's move on to the next one, right? Let's move on to the next one. Now, we are given the coefficient of friction being 0,75. Are we together? Then so this was an easy Monday question. What do you guys think? Everything is given there. I think after this, uh, I'm going to give you guys a question to do on your own. Okay, so they're saying that this is 0,75. Our coefficient of friction is 0,75. And you know that V R <laughs> V R O. Uh, you know I'm laughing because I do know what to write, but I'm hesitating. I don't know what. Hey, those guys have killed my confidence. It's supposed to be R I. Right? Hey, they have slaughtered my confidence. <laughs> so, it's going to be 0, 0,75. Now, I prefer you do it maybe up on top or down, down at the bottom. Because what I did here, though, is going to interfere with, with your things. Eh? Uh, 0, 0,75 multiplied by 12, what do you get? I got 9. Mm -hmm. Michelle, you got 9. Who got 9? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not good. So, I think that would be the same thing. Let me remove it from here. Let me write it here. Yeah, this is the question, these are the answers. So let me write it down. V R O is equals to that V R I, which is equals to 0, 0.75 multiplied by 12, which is going to give me 9 centimeters. Okay, so now we've got 9 centimeters at uh, V R O, are we together? And then we've got a, an angle of 32 degrees, are we together? And our angle is on B, right? So can we measure 32 degrees here? What do we get? If we measure 32 degrees and 9 centimeters. FB. Yeah, FB. Uh, 32 degrees is slightly bigger than that. Eh? So I'll put mine like this. 32 degrees. This is equals to. Now, label your things. When you are writing them, label them down. How much you get? When you are writing them, label them down. 32 degrees. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, the 32 degrees. The 32 degrees was given in the question. Yes. Alright. So, this is equals to 9. Uh, let me write it down. VRO is equals to 9 centimeters. And then that's my D point. Are we together? Okay. Now, I want you to join A and D. Now, this is equals to VI. Oh, sorry. VO. Now, if you measure A to D, what do you get? If you measure A to D, what do you get? 
It's five. Amen. Let, let's wait for Prince to get his answer. If, if both of you are giving me the, the, the same answer, that means it's correct. All of you are correct. If you both are giving me different answers, that means, yeah, somebody made a mistake. The length of D to A, which is V out. How are we together? D to A is V out. What do you get? It's five. Five. Straight. Okay, so it's five centimeters, right? And let's measure this angle. This angle is our beta. Are we together? Uh, why am I guessing something like 40, 50 degrees? Because that's how my diagram looks like. Never mind. What are you guys getting? 60 something? We are getting uh... 70. <laughs> yes? It's actually 80. 80. Yeah, yeah 80. 80. 80. 80. 82, 83. So I'm going to take 82. Because. Ah. <laughs> okay, the first question says, right? Uh, use the diagram to determine the angle at which the, the steam leaves the turbine, right? The angle at which the steam leaves the turbine. Now, this is me asking you questions. Uh, which is the angle at which the steam leaves the turbine, Chris? The, the turbines. Mm. Which angle is the one? Where the steam leaves the turbines. The the, outlets. Yes. Uh, uh, you're looking at B. If you're looking at B, you're wrong. 82. It's 82. Yes, it's 82. 82, right? A is for the gas. B is of the angles. Are we together? A is of the gas. And B is of the angles. The angles. Yeah. What, what angles? Ah, I say angles. <laughs> sorry. A is of the gas and B is of the blade, sir. Everything that is to start from A is gases. Everything that starts from B is blades, blades right? So we have got our AC, which is our gases, are we together? Right? Then we join C to, to B, but we normally don't start with C to B, right? And then you've got B to D, that's the starting point, right? Then you join those two together. Our next question, the inlet angle of the moving blades, right? The inlet angle of the moving blades. Now, what's our inlet angle of the moving blade? 20. It's 20. 20. No. 20 is the inlet angle of the gas. Are we together? Now, what are we looking for, by the way? Uh, uh, which sign is it? Phi, theta, beta, alpha? Five. It's five. 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 Which is this one? Uh, why, why do you guys say it's five? Because it's by the blades. Yes, that is correct. On B, that is correct. Uh, yeah. So, uh, and the angle which... He said that the answer is the blade. No, that was, that, that was wrong with me. I made a mistake. That was wrong with me. Yeah, that was wrong. Now I'm thinking about it now. That was wrong with me. Yeah. Because the question is asking for the inlet angle of the moving blades. And then here we're given the outlet angle of the moving blades, right? Yeah. So, everything that starts from A, C, B is, is, is inlet. Are we together, right? So, we are looking for theta. So theta is equals to 30 degrees. The answer is 32. Yeah. So I think they, they do have a leeway that they give though to see uh, maybe one or two degrees. Okay, then the last question. Use the diagram to calculate the power developed by the turbine, right? Use the diagram to calculate the power developed by the turbine. Now, which formula do we use for power, by the way? Power is equal to Mm. Yeah, the shirt is laughing. <laughs> Ooh, guys, I think I might have been wrong. I think, I think I might have costed you one, two, three, four, five, six months. That's a lot. I think I might have costed you six months. But anyways, we'll talk about it. Uh, what's the formula for calculating power? Mass times W, 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 times coefficient of friction. Yeah. It's you. Not coefficient. Okay. It's just it's the U, not the coefficient. It's it's you. Mm. You for the blade speed. Mm. Okay, uh let's talk about something else mm. Before we calculate power. Now uh, I, 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 I might have costed you six months. Thank you. Okay, let's discuss where did I make you lose those six months? Eh? Where did I make you lose those six months? So that you never lose those six marks again, right? 
Okay, so I want you to measure from D all the way up to this straight line. For, are you checking the memo or you measured it? No, you measured it. You measured it? Okay, so 4,9, right? 4, 9 is equals to? Uh, it's VF2. VF2, yeah. VF2. I was writing CF from the memo. And then here from here, if you measure, what do you get? Six centimeters, right? And then this is equals to VF1. How are we together? Right? Uh, 6,3. Are you sure? Yeah. I think your ruler is meant. You know, it's like this. Make it straight. Okay. It's not 6, 6,1. 6, yeah. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, now if you measure for me, if you take this line, and bring it up here. Take this line from C, right? Bring it up here. Huh? 17,7. You get 17,7, right? Centimeters. This is equals to WV. Are we together? Right? Now, I think these are all the answers. A all the way up to D. What do you get? If you measure from A to, to there, to the, the very very last one. What do you get? From A to where? From A to C. A. No, from A to C, yeah, exactly. From A to C. That's the only mark that is left. From A to C. 17,1. Mm. 17 comma 1. 17 comma 1. Now this is called V. Sorry. Is it V W W V? Mm. Those people messed my head up. It's V W. No, I'm saying W V. It's V W. Yeah, it's V W one. Are we together? Uh, let's calculate that and then we will, then I'll give you guys a reference. Now. Your mass was given at two kgs an hour, right? But then here we're looking for power, right? So power your hours is to be converted to seconds. So it's going to be two divided by. 60 times 60 multiplied by VW, VW, which is, uh, can I put it in brackets? 17.7 plus, oh sorry, it's multiplied, sorry. Multiplied by U, U, which is 7. Are we together? Then close the bracket. Remember, these are centimeters, right? So we need to put them into meters per second. So you multiply by 50. What do you get your answer as? Yeah, then the question is done. Then I'll give you your own question from the textbook. Huh? You still gonna give us one question, but you Oh, one question. Every day of the okay. dreamland, we all pray to habitate. But if only we could levitate, cause that world's on a higher plane. It never rains or gets dark. There's no death. So me and you will never be torn apart. It's the heaven for the African panic from war and savagery, failed diplomacy, and international mockery. That's where Kingpin resides.